So the important thing, I think, is in recognizing that it won't do us any good to keep them just for ourselves. So today, if we could just all agree that our talents, our skills, and our abilities are the gifts that we have from life, and that from this very moment forward, we'll share them with other people. Let's find new ways to connect with other people. Let's find new ways to be a loving support for other people, to be a healing presence for other people. Because when we share our gifts, everyone benefits. And that's the kind of gift that's better to give than to receive. You see, if in our sharing of our gifts there's any obligation, need I say more? You see, seeing, seeking, sharing, and expressing, that's the process. You see, I've been looking at this topic all week and asking myself, what's the most important element that I can bring this evening so that maybe all of the mistakes and all of the misunderstandings that I've ever experienced or expressed in my life, ones that have caused me pain and discord and suffering, right, can now become a truth so that other people may not have to experience those same things that I've endured. I've thought about how we're all called to share whatever gifts that we've had bestowed upon us and how it's our responsibility to share those gifts. And what I came to understand about my life and doing that and actually taking the time to study and to pray and to meditate and to reflect upon what is it I have come here to share with the world is that we're passing the baton of joy and inspiration and abundance with enthusiasm to other people. That's why I like you standing up and enthusiastically affirming a greater truth for yourself. Because if we don't have enthusiasm in everything we're doing, what are we saying about the life of spirit within us? You see, I think that when we share our gifts and we do this with enthusiasm and we pass that baton of abundance to other people so that other people can feel lifted up by our very presence, that's how we make that exultant connection to our path and our careers and to each other. And it also shows us the very definition of the divine will that we believe we've set for ourselves. You see, last Sunday I spoke about this. The, the talk title was, Thy Will Be Done. And I think the most important thing that I said for everybody to reflect upon in that our purpose in life is to really discover what we fear most about God and about life. And then to go about resolving that fear into faith. Seeing joy and wonder is a visible sign of our inner demonstration. And if we're... If we aren't experiencing that, then that's a pretty good measuring stick of what we fear about God and life. So seeking only to express love and its gifts, that's being in the kingdom of heaven. That's having that kingdom of heaven experience. The purpose of life, I believe, is for us to discover our gifts. And the meaning of life is us giving our gifts. See, by loving and sharing and understanding our own needs, what we're doing is, is we're filling our hearts with a joy, with a peace, a peace that passes all human understanding. So sharing our gifts is an expression that we put out into the world, a demonstration that within us there is a very confident, a very, very confident realization that we are perfect, whole, and complete. Expressing that which is joy within me isn't that what this time of year is about. So I've already said that I like you to be very aggressively affirmative. I like you to be animated in your affirmation. So say this and say this like you freaking mean it. Joy is what I feel. Joy. Expressing joy is sharing my gift. Expressing joy is sharing my gift. 
balance, peace, and joy are the fruit on the tree of a successful life. It starts with recognizing our talents and finding ways to serve others by using those talents. You know, Carl Jung said that great talents are the most lovely and often the most dangerous fruits on the tree of humanity. They hang upon the most slender twigs that are easily snapped off. You see, we are not brittle. We are the branches of the vine that can never be separated from the tree of life. This Yule time spirit, it lives within each one of us. It's our nature to share our gifts. So tonight, I ask you, what gift did you bring to life to share?